Hi everyone. My name is Teacher Karigo Dotonjige, the teacher of literature in English and the English language from Queen of Peace Girls Secondary School, Zega Tabola. Uh, today I have brought you the lesson about theories of literature, especially on the meaning of literature. The first subtopic of the first topic, uh, which is introduction to literature. But I have decided to give you the lesson about uh, the meaning of literature or the overview of the term literature. The term literature are defined by different scholars. Listen the views, my views about the meaning of literature according the different scholars which I have learned. The meaning of literature is the work of an art that uses language creatively to reflect or to portray the message in the society. Uh, literature, as I said, is the work of an art because it involves the skills and creativity to organize something or ideas so as the readers or the learners can learn something. That's why the, the author organize different ideas in their books so as to send the messages in the society. Example of a book by Chinua Achebe, things fall apart. Uh, Achebe is an artist. That's why he organized the ideas about uh, mafia society. And uh, he organized the ideas about uh, Okonko and uh, his villagers. That we call is an art. The literature is the work of an art because it involves the skills. And also, literature uses language to send the message in the society. That's why language we call is a, is a tool in communications. No language, no literature. That's why literature uses language. And the language which is used in literature is imaginative language, is imaginary language. That's why when you read a, a book, you get different uh, contradict about uh, the words which used by the author, playwright. Example of a book, Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. When you read a book of William Shakespeare, uh, Shakespeare uh, used the uh, complex language and uh, complex vocabularies. That is the work of an art. The author of the playwright can use a complex uh, language or vocabularies so as to challenge the readers ab about his ideas on something. And also, use, uh, literature uses imaginative language uh, or imaginal to reflect something. When you read a book, you create a mental picture about something. And also, literature uses ascetic or beautifications. Ascetic, you are talking about the uh, colorful languages. That's why the, the author use a beautification or colorful language or ascetic so as to attract the reader to read his or her book. And there are other things which is the messages. Messages is an important term which is used to define the word literature. Literature portrays the messages in the society. That's why when you read a, a book, you get a lesson, you get the ideas 
about the intended intended society. Uh, that's why message you defi we define the message you refer to what you learned in a little work. You learn something. You learn the ideas of the author or playwright. And the last thing, uh, key terms which you use the, to define the word literature is society. That's why uh, literature reflects the social realities. There's things which happening in a society. No society, no literature. That's why the author reveals the evils, challenges, and the problems which are happening in our society. That's why literature reflects the things which are happening in society. My dear viewers, these are key terms which are used to define the word literature. The first term is art. Uh, art means application of human skills. I can say is a product of human beings, or is a product of artistic. Is a something from, is a something uh, portrayed by the, by, by the artistic or the author, so so as the 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 audience or the readers can learn something. That's why the author or the artistic use creativity and the skills to send something, to send the ideas. Or to, to to educate the society about something. That's why the artistic use skills. The second term is language. Uh, literature uses language as a tool in communication. The third is creativity. Use creativity to portray or to reveal something in a society which is happening in a society the force is imaginative literature or an artistic use imaginative or imagial involves the imagial to, to reveal something in a society another is messages literature portray the messages in a society and the last is society uh, if to the group of people in the community. Dear viewers, uh, the meaning of literature is all about uh, the society. You can't define the meaning of literature uh, without consider the key terms or important terms like art, language, creativity, imaginative, message, society, and the ascetic. Let me end here. That is the first subtopic of, a, of the first topic of introduction to literature. That is the end of the first subtopic. Get prepared for the second subtopic, which is literature as an art. Thank you for listening to me. My name is Teacher Kariko Dotonjige, the manager of literature, the young writer from Nindo Mwajiji Diabusalo, Shinyanga, Tanzania. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below this video. Thank you.